Hey guys, it's John, and today we're going to be doing the canon part 2. Uh, so, what we've, what we've added on is this kind of thing. It might look kind of complicated, but it's really not. It's fairly... it's, re it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty cool as well. Basically, it's now it's so, uh, semi-automatic. Uh, you hit one button to load the cannon, you hit the other button to shoot the cannon, then you hit it to load it, then shoot it, and yeah. Uh, there's ways of making this fully automatic and stuff like that, but just now we're going to keep it. The kind we're kind of going to build it up and make it. We're going to keep it kind of basic just now. So I'll show you how it works. So we load it. At, at the moment, you can see the cannon is not loaded. We can load it by hitting this button. Now the cannon is loaded, has the bullet here, and stuff. And then we can hit the button. It'll set off this TNT, then this one will go off as well, then it'll shoot into there. It does go quite far. <laughs> it's a shame I've got a wall here. I'll try and clear this out a little bit. And then hopefully it'll actually shoot into it. Just clear it out like that. That's enough. So we can load it again. Then shoot it. See how far it goes. Yeah, it'll, it'll go pretty far. It's pretty cool. Um, let's keep shooting it. Let's see how how much of that wall we can destroy. Yeah. So the reason why we have the obsidian here is so that the pistons don't accidentally push all this, uh, all the redstone here away. And this part here. The reason why the sand is here is if we come over here, this is made a quick example. So this is this is the makeshift TNT. This is going to be going into the barrel of the cannon, and then you're going to want to put you're going to want to keep pushing more TNT into it without having to replace it. So we're going to have to use something to replace the TNT that is affected by gravity. Obviously, we've got sand. So if we hit this. Um, I didn't expect that to not work. <laughs> there we go. I'll just quickly fix it because I'm kind of stupid. There we go. How anticlimactic. Yeah, so if we hit that, it's going to push over, then the sand's going to drop. And then we can push it again. It's going to push the sand over, but it's going to keep pushing the TNT as well. So that's why we have the sand. And yeah, so let's get on to building it. So to start it off, we're going to kind of build similar to our first ever cannon, the first cannon we made in another video. So we're going to make our barrel, which is going to be eight blocks long. I don't know how long that is, but it doesn't really matter. Um, where's our buckets of water? Here it is. So if we put this in here, we should know exactly where to stop. Oh, I've made it pretty much perfect. So then we're going to put in a half step. Where is the half step? There they are. Um there. We're gonna put the half step there. And then we can come over here and we're gonna put blocks along here. And only we're only gonna do this along one side, like that. We're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna make this bit a little bit longer. So we can add in our buttons. So we're gonna have our first button there. And it's just gonna look like this just now. Actually, no we're not. We're not gonna put our button there. We're gonna put it there. So then we're going to put the sandstone over here. And then we can get rid of this bit here. There we go. So that's us finished that bit. Then we can put in our redstone. So we're going to put in the redstone for the billet. Uh, I usually use five repeaters here. Or five repeaters are. And then we're going to put a block at the end so that this will activate the TNT. And we're going to put fill a delay on each of the repeaters. Like that. So then when you hit this, it'll activate all that. So we can get rid of this, and now we're going to put in the the redstone for the actual TNT. We're going to bring this along to that block there. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to bring it along to that block there. So this is going to the barrel is only going to have six TNT in it. Uh, the reason why we do this is because if we have a TNT here and we activate it, sometimes it will land on this, on this bit here. Then your whole cannon will just be obliterated. So. To make it safer, and it'll pretty much still have the same firepower, we're going to only use 6 TNT. 
<coughs> so that's what it's going to look like just now. Now what we can add in is our auto loader thingy. That's what I call it. The auto loader thingy. Um, so we're going to have our button here. And the redstone is going to come on, on top and it's going to go around. So we're going to have our clip. We're going to call it the clip of the cannon. And we, you can make this as long as you want. I'd say probably max about 10 is probably your best maximum. So we're going to make it not that big. We're going to make it 7. That's fine. Um, actually, the maximum of your clip could be 15, I think. Because that's um, as much uh, pistons can push, I think. I think so anyway, I can't, I can't, I need to improve my memory, um, but yes, anyway, we're going to fill this in, we're going to have a little platform, you don't actually need this, but it makes it easier for everything pretty much, actually you do need this because the sand will be landing on it, but still, uh, we're going to have blocks coming along here, my phone is making a noise, go away phone, along to here and then we're going to have our pistons. You don't you don't want to use sticky pistons for this, you're just going to use normal pistons. We're going to get rid of this one because we don't need that one and then we're going to put a block there and a block there and then we're going to put one more piston there. Now what I've done, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. What I've done on my other one is just bring blocks along here. You don't need to do this but I thought I just did it anyway <coughs> and that's us pretty much finished it. All we need to do is add in the redstone. So we're going to bring <laughs> blocks along here. Like that. Then we're going to bring blocks along here to activate the pistons. And you're going to want to activate this one as well, so we'll put a block there. Then we're going to add the redstone along. And we can put in our redstone repeater. You do not want to have redstone here. If you have redstone in these blocks, it's going to activate the TNT here and your cannon's going to blow up. So you want the redstone one block away from all the TNT. Unless you want an exploding cannon, which is, I guess, is cool. If that's what you want to build. It's pretty cool. So now we can test it out. It'll definitely work. Um, now we just need to load the cannon. All we need to do is add in all the TNT. So we can just put in all our TNT here. Dun, dun, dun. Like this. Dun, dun. And then we can add in our bullets. Which is going to be here. And then that's us. Why do we have that block there? That's us pretty much finished. But this is a. Uh, 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 what's it What's it called again? An optional thing to do. Is you can put in your obsidian here. So that your pistons don't push these block any f blocks any further. Than, uh, than you want them to. So that's us pretty much finished it. All we need to do is add in the sand now. So we want to have as much sand as we do uh, gunpowder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have seven in it, doesn't it? Don't we? So we're going to have one, two, three. I'm going to do this for <coughs> all of the all of the barrels. I mean, all of the what would it be called? I'm guessing it's going to be called the gunpowder. I'm just going to call it the gunpowder for, gunpowder for no apparent reason. Oops, we don't need that much. There we go. Then we can do it for this as well. Four, five, six, seven. And yeah, so that's us finished it, I'm pretty sure. We can test it out. Load the cannon. Then we're going to fire the cannon. And it's going to fire into that wall. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's about it for this. You might think it's kind of over the top for a cannon, but this is quite a cool... This this whole system here is actually a pretty cool system. You can use this for things like bridges, like um, a drawbridge, or really slow drawbridge, but there's lots of... Uh, there's actually lots of uses for this, and it's uh, if, you, if you're creative enough, then I'm sure you could think of some pretty awesome... Use awesome uses for this. I found a use of it in a cannon and you might find a use for it in something else so yeah, that's kind of what, what I wanted to show you. Uh, there's a couple of things you want you might want to add is you can add in more delay here this will make your bullet 
fire faster or blow up faster in case you have a, a target that's closer to you or you can have or you can add in more barrels you can add in lots of kind of lots of random stuff but yeah that's what we're, we're actually going to be doing uh, the next couple of episodes so stay tuned there's going to be a canon video every sunday and there's going to be some other redstone stuff coming up as well and yeah also i actually have a facebook a new brand new facebook fan page kind of thing so if you want to look at that then the link is in the description and i'll see you guys later <sighs> oh god why does my aim have to be so bad <laughs> Okay, we're gonna th we're gonna take one of these. Open, open sesame. It didn't work. Oh, it did work. 